Hey everybody, welcome back to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Now I've officially lost it, gone nuts, call it what you will. For those of you who watched the last Alice Chalmers project from start to finish, seen what basket case that was when I brought it in. Well this one literally is a basket case. It's been sitting on the ground I got it up in the air here now so I can start working on it. We got the main tractor, engine, transmission, final drives, everything. That's all together yet. Then I have a pallet with what I hope is the remainder of the tractor. I know not everything's missing. I've got both front tires. But they're shot, dry rotted. But I only have one rear wheel, and that tire is shot, the rim's rusted out, so that's going to be a major expense. Otherwise, what you're looking at here is a 1941, according to the serial number, it'd be a late 1941 Alice Chalmers C. It has some similarities to the WD 45, but not a whole lot. This tractor actually does not have frame rails. You're looking at it. The front assembly actually bolts to the front of the engine. Everything else is here. You got the engine up front. This is known as the torque tube that goes to the rear end and the rear differential transmission. Everything's all back in this housing. So I have to go through everything here covers are off the brakes. That's one solid mouse nest on both sides. The PTO spins freely and when you engage it it locks up so I think everything's fine there. Brakes do work good. At least that side does. That one grabs good too, so I think I'm all I'm gonna have to do there is get the mouse nest cleaned out of it. Transmission doesn't feel quite right though. So I'll probably pull that inspection cover off and take a look in there. It's going to need all fresh fluids anyway. Oil doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like there's water in it. It's low. This tractor does not have an oil filter on it. It's got a block off plate here. I don't know if a filter can be put on it because I think the later models did have a filter. I'm going to have to do some research there. So it would be nice to have a filter on it. Plus with no filter there's nowhere for an oil pressure gauge so you have no idea if you got oil pressure or not. And this tractor since it's so old does not have a distributor. It has a magneto on it. So there will be a little bit of a learning curve for me. Looks like everything's intact with the governor. Nothing's froze up or stuck there. And what surprised me was this thing actually turns over. The engine's not stuck. So I'm hoping since I already know I've got the added expense of rear tires and wheels for it. I'm hoping I don't have to overhaul this engine. Maybe I can just get by with some, putting some new valve guides on it. or I'll pull the spark plugs out and do a compression check and I have a camera I can shoot in there and see what the bores look like. It'd be nice if I don't have to rebuild it. So 
so shocked that it turns over. Uh oh. That is no bueno. I don't even have to get the indicator out to see that that's way too much end play on the crankshaft. Well, so much for good fortune there. Pull these rags out of the ports. Hopefully none of the local livestock comes flying out at me. Actually doesn't look too bad in there what little bit I can see. And I haven't gone through that pallet of parts yet. I don't know if I even have a manifold for it. I'll be finding out. That's pretty much a complete walk around as far as the tractor goes. So that's it for now. Start going through that pallet of parts. See what's all missing suppose make a list of what I'm all going to need and try and figure out how bad the damages are going to be on it. This wasn't the project I planned on bringing in here next. I really wanted to do that power wagon that was in that one video. Which I haven't even got bought yet, but I'm sure I can. I haven't even talked to the guy again, but this tractor here came with a belly mount sickle mower which would be nice for mowing the road ditches out here and clean up around the pasture and stuff like that in the summertime. So this kind of get needs to get done and get going first and then the power wagon will come along hopefully. Well I'll start going through this pallet and see if I can find something that looks like a tractor in here. <laughs> 